Hey guys, <clears throat> it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Burns Cradle. I am here today. I'm feeling a bit better, a lot better. I still cough a bit, but the day of rest yesterday really helps a lot. Um, look at that, guys. We have slight snow on the ground. It's like minus 11 degrees Celsius, which I'm not sure. That's with the wind chill, though. Convert minus 11 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. Minus 11 degrees Celsius is equal to 12.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that's it's probably kind of cold. <laughs> so I am here with Molly. I love her so much. There's just something about her. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but um, I realized today, like, I was replying to some comments on her box opening, and I know that alternatives aren't everyone's cup of tea, but to me, personally, and this is my opinion, um, there's just something about the dark alternatives that I appreciate. Um, I mean, obvious fact from their ours. They are extremely unique, um, which makes them even more special to me. But um, there's something about, like, <laughs> growing up. I mean, we all faced adversity, and many people faced harsh adversity. And there's always that dark part inside of us, at least a lot of us. And instead of, like, being scared of the dark part of human brain, human soul, I'm not scared of it. I, I like it. I appreciate it. I acknowledge it. And to be able to have a doll that represents that part, that dark part, it's just something very special to me, very unique, very, and I don't know, I, 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 I do appreciate the alternatives, and this Molly, there's just something about her that, and same with my Feluna, my creature, a forest baby, there's, like, I remember when I was a kid regarding Feluna, when I was a little girl, I grew up, like, the back, the woods is my backyard, I grew up around a forest, the forest was surrounding me. I grew up at a lake, and I remember just lying in the fall leaves, in the fall forest, and just laying there and just daydreaming and thinking all of these feelings as a child. What's my future going to be like? What do I want to be when I grow older? How is life going to be? Like, all those wonderments of life. And she... Even though she's alternative, I don't know, there's just maybe like the the darkness, the wonderment, the curiosity of the unknown is a part of it. It's so hard to explain. But I want to show you Molly. I want to change her. I Although I do love her outfit that she's wearing, I love it a lot. But I found something for her. I want to share it with you. Stay tuned. Uh, so here's Molly, and I do love this outfit. I think it's very creative. But I do, I did find something for her. And I do have this old, it's a glass ebb and flow with a Nani's no hole nipple. That means it doesn't leak. This is, this liquid milk has been in here for a long, long, long time. Um, but it still, it looks perfectly like milk, but I want to add food coloring to make her a blood bottle if it'll work. There's red in here and blue in here that I want to try. I don't know, I just want to try it. She is big enough to have the big bottles, <laughs> but I do have... 
a beautiful outfit in mind for her. And I'll show you. Although I love this outfit on her. But it's getting kind of chilly out as you know. I love this bonnet on her. And I did, um, her hair is nice, so soft, but <clears throat> sorry if, if you can see her or not. So I'll set those aside and I love her chunky legs. Like we thought, like the people who own the Greta by Andrea Cello, she has chunky legs, the Greta, but she, <laughs> oh, I just love her details. Like, I love it. And one of these times when we, because we're going to be trading, of course. I love trading with Erin. Erin, um, I should ask you, if you could sign your baby's butt, I would love that. I've only sold, like, out of all of my collection, I've only sold two dolls. And I've traded the rest, but not very often, like out of all the babies I own, I still have them all. Okay, look how cute, she, oh my goodness, she is, oh, I love her. I really do. This diaper seems a bit small. It's a size one, she does have big chunky legs. And I should get a look in her booty. Wow. <laughs> I never seen one like that. Like that. Defined. Oh, she's so perfect. But Stamper seems a bit small. I'm not sure if I have a size two anywhere. Yes, this is what happens to mine too. They're on for so long. But... Okay, I'm gonna see. I'll just. I'm gonna see if that um, strawberry one is size two. I'll be back. I found a size two. I found out that I have a lot of newborn, a lot of preemie, a lot of size one, a lot of size, well, a few size three, a whole package of size four, size two. I found this. It's a Huggy size two special edition of, but I will use it. I think it'll be good on her, on Molly. So let's see if a size 2 will fit. I do have a size 3 close by. I think a size 2 will work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, size 2. Fits her pretty good. Okay, yay. <laughs> I started having a coughing fit. Sorry about that. But I found this beautiful um, gray dress. And it's really old. I mean... In my collection, it's old. It's old. I'm not sure where I got it from, but it's so pretty. It was in my bin of um, three month and up. So, but 
I also found these. I know these are from Erin. I am pretty sure that they are. In fact, that dress might be from her too. Like when I received Tabitha, but I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. But I thought that I would put these tights on. These are vintage looking. They're not real vintage, but they kind of look it because they've been obviously been worn. Well, she has <laughs> thick thighs. Oh, <laughs> I love her. She is so sweet. Okay, I just want to get the back side up. Properly, or kind of properly. This diaper looks like it's full on her. <laughs> just move these up. Mm. I'm not sure what size his tights are, but they fit. They fit her. <laughs> Anyways, it comes with these bloomer type things. I just wanted to dress her up. Celebrate her beauty. Although I do love that pink outfit on her, but this kind of gives her to me like a more of a darker vibe for her in a way, if that makes sense. So this has buttons and says this by. Mini, mini classic mini classic nine months nine months Oh, I love it. Oh, okay, in just a moment, I will do up her buttons. Sorry if you're blurry. It just... There, it fits her. This is a nine month. Now, I tried looking for a nice, like, hair bow type thing for her. Oh. She's so pretty in this. I love it. Um, but I thought maybe this gray knitted would look nice. This is also from Erin. Who knows? Everything that she could be wearing right now could be from Erin, too. Aww. Aww. This is kind of mismatched, this. But... If I found, like, I don't have gray booties or maybe white booties to match this part. She looked that good. Oops. I wonder if I should add, like, ribbon. If I should add, like, a ribbon. Like, thread it through. I could tie it. Or should I just leave it like this? No, oh, she's sweet. She looks pretty with that dress. I wish you could see her better. Let's see. Oh, let's see how the gray matches. The gray bonnet. I love this. Such a unique. Interesting pocket. 
Yeah, if I can find like a mom is all right. Oh, she's sweet. Molly, sweet, pretty Molly. I love the whole thing. I love holding them. So, yes, guys, thank you so much for being here. Oh, I'm starting to cough. <clears throat> See, the lighting is terrible. Thank you guys so much for being here. And until next time, very soon. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Watch hand. High five. Watch hand, guys. Bye.